Srbija je nedavno dobila novog ambasadora Velike Britanije, Edvarda Fergusona, koji se posle pet godina vratio na Balkan, a njegova prva poseta bila je i Niš, gde trenutno boravi. Sa njim ćemo danas razgovarati o njegovom povratku i očekivanjima, ali i o saradnji Srba i Britanaca, demokratiji i britanskoj politici prema našem regionu. Dobrodošli, gospodine Ferguson, u Srbiju i naravno i u Niš. Hvala puno na pozivu i drago mi je što smo ovde. What are your first impressions of Niš? Are you only on an official visit or did you manage to feel the atmosphere in the city which is always specific in Niš during Nishville? So I've had a really brilliant couple of days in Niš. I've really enjoyed getting to know the city and meeting lots of people. So I've done an official bit, but I've also had some fun as well because it's the Nicheville Jazz Festival uh, at the moment. And, uh, and it's been fantastic to visit that and see, feel a bit of the spirit uh, of the city and, of course, see the wonderful fortress uh, that, that dominates the city. And then I've been out. I've been meeting the mayor, uh, the bishop, the rector of the university. I've been meeting civil society and media organizations that work here. Uh, I visited Donya Ternova village and met some wonderful young people who were... <laughs> Uh, really trying to you know, um, refresh their community. Um, so it's been, it's been, and I've been to the historical archive, lots of, lots of things. It's been a fantastic uh, couple of days. Mm -hmm. and do you like Niche? Uh, and uh, do you like that atmosphere uh, uh, when it's Nicheville in, in our city? How yeah, it, the, the city feels really vibrant. It's full of people. We went out for dinner to a kafana last night and had some wonderful food. Uh, everyone said that the food in Niche is fantastic, and it really is. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, pe people are here, they're enjoying themselves. Uh, you know, there are some late nights at the festival, but there's some fantastic music. Uh, and it's brilliant that there are some British bands mm -hmm. uh, playing at the fe jazz festival as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned food, uh, and, yeah, uh, and I see on f Twitter that you're a daughter. Uh, when you uh, come to Belgrade, the uh, uh, first uh, meal was uh, Cevapi, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, do you like our food? We love your food. Yeah, we do. I mean, so I spent four years as the British ambassador in Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, and chavapi is my children's favorite food. And we've been, uh, been away from the Balkans for five years. So as soon as we came back, that was the first thing uh, that we had to do. Um, but I've also had some fantastic food uh, here in Niche over the last uh, 24 hours. So I'm looking forward to bringing my family back again. Mm -hmm. uh, we can give you a recipe for chevapi if you, if uh, you want. Ah, don't be the You uh, often write in Serbian uh, on Twitter. You said that you're excited about uh, returning to the Balkans. Uh, you said that you were ambassador of uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina until five years ago. Uh, your youngest daughter was born in uh, Sarajevo, right? That's right, Nasamala Sarajevo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your uh, exp expectation from, you, from uh, your new mandate as the ambassador in this uh, area? So I think, I mean, my family and I, we love this region. We love the people uh, in this region. They're so warm. They're so welcoming. Uh, and we really feel invested uh, in the future and uh, success of this region. So we were delighted to be given the opportunity to come back. And, you know, I think for me as the British ambassador, uh, what do I want to do? I want to try and build a really modern, vibrant, positive uh, relationship with Serbia, looking very much to the future. There's already a lot of really exciting stuff that goes on uh, in trade, in our cultural uh, exchange. But there, I think there's a lot more that we can do. Uh, so that's really where my focus will be. Mm -hmm. uh, you have been in Serbia for de uh, less than a month, but you have already had talks with a number of our officials. Uh, so what do you expect uh, from cooperating with them uh, in the future? So I think we've been talking about lots of areas where I think we can build on uh, some of the work we've already been doing together. So, for example, uh, the, U the United Kingdom is already financing the construction of the Morava Highway. Uh, we've been talking about other big projects, big infrastructure projects that the UK could uh, support, whether that's rail and road projects, whether it's renewable energy uh, projects, for example. Um, so those are some of the areas that we're really excited about building on. Also, we've been working a lot in uh, the education and the cultural sector for many years. Um, every school in Serbia uh, had access to a British project from the British Council called 21st Century Schools, where we were giving digital training to young people. We're really keen to keep working on that uh, with the government. I think those skills are really important. I think the digital 
sector is a growing part of Serbia's uh, economy. And it's a growing link to London and the United Kingdom because a lot of that trade is going to London. And that sector, uh, our trade in services, is growing really, really fast. So I want to keep building on those. Mm -hmm. And uh, do, you, uh, do you also see South uh, as a potential for some uh, concrete projects with, where we could cooperate? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think you know, we're really keen to work right across uh, Serbia. Uh, I mentioned that yesterday I went to uh, Donja Trnava where we are working with local community uh, and we're doing this around the country to try and find, you know, support community projects and bring people together and give them a reason to, to stay and build their communities. Um, we're working, as I say, with schools right across the country. Uh, in the cultural space, we're keen to bring people together. And of course, as I say, we've had some British bands uh, at the Jazz Festival here in Niche this week, uh, which is great to see. Um, mm -hmm. So there's lots of linkages uh, already, um, and we are absolutely keen. You know, the British Embassy is, is based in Belgrade, but our, our view is right across Serbia. Mm -hmm. Um, what would you personally like to achieve uh, in next four years as uh, ambassador of Great Britain to our country? And how do you uh, currently assess the relationship between uh, our two countries? So I think there's a lot to be proud about uh, and excited about in the relationship. It's actually a huge amount going on that is really positive. Um, but I think sometimes it's not talked about or well understood. So I think part of what I would like to achieve is that when people think about the United Kingdom, the first thing that comes to mind, very often it's football or it's music or it's comedy series uh, that people have grown up with and love watching. <laughs> But there is also, I think, a sense, you know, the, the reputation of the United Kingdom in Serbia, sometimes the reputation of the Serbia in the United Kingdom, I think can be improved. So really I see that as my job. I want us to build a really positive story that is what people think about when they think of Great Britain. <clears throat> Uh, and uh, can you tell us uh, uh, what is the current internal political and geopolitical moment in Serbia from your point of view uh, at the moment you took the, the office? So I think, I think this is a difficult moment geopolitically for, for everyone, uh, not just for Serbia, but certainly for the United Kingdom. Uh, you know, we have just come out of some big challenges of the COVID pandemic, uh, the economic slowdown, and then we had Russia's appalling invasion uh, of Ukraine, which of course is not just killing and harming Ukraine uh, and their economy and their cultural heritage, but it's having impact right across the world. And, you know, here in Serbia or in the United Kingdom, our citizens are affected by inflation. They're affected by the rising cost of food, the rising cost of energy. Uh, so this is a difficult time, I think, for, for everyone. And I think it's a time when we all need to work together to find positive solutions to those problems. Uh, you said uh, in some interview that uh, Serbia is a very important uh, country that can be a beacon of stability in the region. Uh, what exactly did you mean by that and uh, how do you think uh, it can be achieved? So I think Serbia is, is obviously the biggest country uh, in the Western Balkans. It is the strongest uh, economy. Um, and, you know, it obviously has linkages with all of, the, all of its neighbors. Um, what we are seeing now, and we've certainly as the United Kingdom been working in a lot of regional initiatives, including the Berlin process, where there will be a, a summit in Tirana uh, later this year, to bring the countries of the region together and to find positive ways to cooperate. You know, talking to members of your government, people from business here, the economy is in, is in you know, good shape, it's growing, uh, but there is real potential. Equally, if there is instability or if cooperation with neighbors isn't working, it can hurt the economy and it can hurt uh, ordinary people. So I think Serbia, you know, it has an interest uh, and we will certainly try and support it in working as constructively uh, as possible with its neighbors. No one has an interest in instability uh, in this region. And I think Serbia has a special responsibility as the largest country in the region to work towards peace, stability, resolving some of the problems of the region and really focusing on positive cooperation. Uh, and what is your attitude on the European integration of Serbia, uh, given that the Brexit officially ended more than three years ago and that you were a member state of the EU uh, almost uh, 50 years? So, yes, we, we, we were a founding member of the uh, European Union and, and then we, we have now chosen to, to leave. And I think that is, uh, you know, it's a, a choice that was made by the British people 
as a sovereign independent nation. Serbia, as a sovereign independent nation, has made its own choice about where its interests lie, which is to join the European Union, and we fully support that um, as a friend of, of Serbia. And I think it's very clear why Serbia would want to make that choice. If you look at the economic data, the vast majority uh, of Serbia's trade and investment comes from uh, Europe and the European Union. Uh, you know, a lot of the growth potential lies there. But also Serbia is lagging behind uh, members of the European Union in terms of, its tr in terms of its growth, in terms of its investment. So you know, I can totally understand why Serbia thinks that that is the right uh, future for it, and we will support it. I think the other thing, of course, is that join the European Union, there are certain standards that need to be met in terms of democracy and human rights and uh, rule of law and freedom of media and so on. I think those are all good, healthy things for mm -hmm. societies. And again, we will support where we can in, in helping Serbia to reach those standards. Uh, and how do you uh, assess the current state of the democracy in Serbia? So I think uh, democracy is, is under pressure right around the world. I've just spent four years serving in the United States of America, and there are definitely challenges uh, there. Uh, you know, the United Kingdom is not exempt from this, uh, Serbia the same. But I think, as Winston Churchill said, uh, you know, democracy uh, is the, uh, the worst form of government except for every other form of government. Uh, and so I think, you know, it's not a perfect system. It can be messy, but we have to keep working at the health of our democracies. Uh, and as I say, as a, as a friend of Serbia, we will do what we can. But I think this, you know, this should be a conversation between partners uh, and equals because we're all struggling uh, in this environment. And we have all seen the dangers of autocracy uh, in the Russian invasion of Ukraine. So it's a really important moment. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think we need some more uh, dialogue uh, between uh, political uh, people in Serbia uh, for that? So I think dialogue is really, really important. Um, I think it's good to talk, it's good to exchange uh, ideas. Uh, I've just come from a meeting with uh, members of local media uh, organizations uh, here in the south of, of Serbia, and I was hearing about some of the challenges uh, that they face. Uh, but I think you know, it's really critical to any democracy that they have ac you know, people have access to good quality information uh, and diverse sources mm -hmm. of information, and then that we allow people to make their own opinions about the future of their country and to vote. Um, so, you know, I think that that sort of you know, basic, healthy foundations of democracy uh, is really important to sustain. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, local media. Uh, are you f familiar with the very poor state of uh, media freedom and safety of journalists in Serbia? And how do you uh, think it's important uh, media freedom, uh, especially on the local media? So I think it's critical at every level. Uh, and you know, media freedom is a priority for the United Kingdom government right around the world. And we work with governments uh, all over the world. We have some fantastic media organizations in the UK. Uh, who can offer some advice. Um, we have, I am familiar with some of the challenges. I've just been talking to, to representatives who've been sharing some of those uh, with me. We have also been trying to offer support uh, to media organizations, working with them to help them to plan for their financial sustainability, to find new ways of bringing in revenue so they can keep operating, but also really importantly to ensure their standards are really high of quality journalism that is based on facts and not disinformation. There's far too much disinformation in the world these days. Uh, high quality journalism is critical to the health of any country and democracy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what uh, would you single out as the most important British culture, culture uh, heritage in Serbia? Oh, it's hard to choose. I think we have this incredible relationship that goes back nearly 200 years. Yesterday I went to uh, a cemetery in Niche where there are nearly 40 uh, British soldiers and nurses buried who died alongside the Serbian army uh, in the First World War. So we have these really deep links. But I think you know, in the more modern world, uh, a lot of people, as I say, immediately think of the Premier League or they think of British television shows that they love or British bands that I've been listening to in the Kafanas. Um, you know, I think we've, we've got some fantastic cultural links. I met one of Serbia's most famous sculptors, Mrdžan Bajic, last week and was talking to him about some of the British artists that he has worked with. 
the British Council bring great British art to Serbia, and I hope they will continue to do so. So I think there's all a lot, yeah, a lot of uh, fantastic kind of foundations. I really hope we can build on that over the next few years. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, you, you, uh, it's your first time uh, in Niche, right? Yes, it is. And uh, first, not uh, the last. Yes, <laughs> and first uh, official visit uh, uh, Serbian city. Uh. That's right. So I arrived in Serbia just three weeks uh, mm -hmm. ago, um, and so this is my first official visit uh, anywhere. I was very lucky. I spent a month in Novi Sad uh, as a student, a student of uh, Serbian language. Um, uh, back in March, so I know that city a bit, but I had not yet been there mm -hmm. officially. But you know, I really wanted to come and see a bit of southern Serbia and to understand a bit about this part mm -hmm. uh, of the country. And I hope to explore much more uh, over the next four years of my time here. Mm -hmm. And what's your plans for for uh, this summer? Ha. Uh, to travel, uh, to explore. Uh, we will we will be in Serbia. Um, I'm here with my wife and our three children. Uh, so we want to go and see as much of Serbia as we can. We love hiking, uh, mm -hmm. so we want to go and explore your, your beautiful mountains. Uh, and we love food, so we want to eat, <laughs> try all your, all your specialities wherever we go. Walking and food. Walking and food. It sounds like a good combination. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Puno. Hvala vam. I dođite nam ponovo. Hoću. <laughs> Bili mi drag. Uh, vi ste gledali emisiju 15 minuta. Moje ime je Jovana Stojanović.